Heavy duty indeed. It is not exactly a quad or a side-by-side -side workhorse, but it is a four-wheeler that's worth a look just for the novelty of it all. Okay, we'll call this one the Yogi, because it ain't your average bear. Who'd have thunk it? This bad boy backhoe is capable of running over 150 miles per hour and is officially the world's fastest. When our cameras caught glimpse of this unique ride, we had to get the scoop on what is called the JCB Drag Racing Backhoe. About 27 years ago, uh, there was an Irish comedian called Frank Carson, and he used to tell the jokes about being stuck behind a JCB on the road, because typically a, a backhoe does about 18, 19 miles an hour. Uh, and he said, wouldn't it be great if JCB had built a, a GT that nobody would get stuck behind? And the owner of the company, Sir Anthony Bamford, said, let's build a backhoe. And hence we built the JCB GT. Uh, that was 27 years ago. Uh, we ran that machine for about 10 years, and then we put that into mothballs. Forgot all about it for the last 10, 12 years, and then literally two years ago, Sir Anthony said, it's about time we did something else with a GT. So we built a new one, and that's the vehicle that we have here today, and we call it the JCB GT2. This is uh, a Chevy Big Block Merlin 3, 572 cubic inch, uh, developing, developing about 1300 horsepower and typically on the eighth mile, we'll pull a wheelie down the most of the eight, getting up to about uh, 80, 82 miles an hour. Coming out of Savannah, Georgia, the JCB drag racing backhoe is certainly a draw for any event. So when it showed up about 6,000 kilometers away from home in North Bay, Ontario, it was no accident. The backhoe is really unique. I had never seen it before. I only heard about it uh, a few months ago. It is a big attraction up here it's it the corporation is well is is 100 percent behind this it uh, it it brings the light what can be done for an attraction vehicle and, and and how it how it fits into drag racing from a construction point of view you think there'd never be a mix but it does it mixes in quite well when it comes to heavy equipment normally we label them as a pain in the butt because they slow down the traffic flow but this unit draws totally different reviews I think the major reaction we get every time we run it is people cannot believe that a backhoe is going down a drag strip doing 80, 90 miles an hour. So the crowd's faces when you come back down the return lane, you just get a standing ovation down there. It's brilliant. Okay, it has looks, it has power, and certainly draws attention. But what's it like when you'd climb into the driver's seat and give it a ride? That you can't explain to anybody. I mean, say so you see the dragsters go down the drag strip, they streamlined. This is just a big chunk of metal. There's nothing streamlined about it. So it's not the easiest thing to control, uh, especially when we pull it up into a wheelie. We don't have pedal brakes or anything. So I'm just pointing uh, and hopefully it will go in a straight line. Riding is sponsored by Yamaha ATVs in Rhino. What kind of Yamaha are you? By G-Max Helmets, a perfect fit. There's a G-Max for everyone. And by Go Riding Magazine, Canada's ATVing lifestyle connection.
Next week on Go Riding, the cameras make a stop at a bear rally for a club event and sampling opportunity on the trails in Halliburton County. We check in with an ongoing research study that looks into how much physical exercise comes from off-road riding. And we hook up a few pointers for handling your ATV. Got comments or suggestions? Email us at info at GoRidingTV.com. And be sure to visit the GoRidingTV.com website for more awesome ATVing entertainment. We appreciate your time. Join us again for Go Riding TV. We'll